Stamps. Stamps work with sculpting and paint tools. It essentially puts a mask on the tip of the tool with an image. And that image can be any really image. And the black values of that stamp act as opaque regions that protect the mall. While the white values are transparent and they allow the tool to go through and apply that stamp image. So for example here I'm going to come down to my stamp and I'm going to pick this coral pattern and I'm going to pick and you can see here wherever there's black it'll be opaque and it's going to protect the model it won't sculpt wherever there's white it will allow it to sculpt so I let go and I've now created in this case a a sculpting feature of that coral it has many different types of things we can apply with our stamps. We can make all kinds of things of detail that could be uh, things like geometric shapes. Uh, it could be uh, various types of things like stones. And here we have some veins. We could have some leaf patterns. Um, so. We have all kinds of things such as shoelaces or scales or screws. Um, so we can end up putting all kinds of different patterns in. Uh, and we have two different ways we can sculpt. We can do a repeating uh, sculpting with a repeating stamp pattern. So it might be something like a row of rivets. Or we could have a single instance of the stamp which we use with the imprint tool. In the imprint tool, you can think as a rubber stamp where it puts it one time. So stamps are really quick, easy ways in which we can sculpt or paint things.